All right, so we're looking at 5.3 number 11 right now, and it says this, a plane flying at an altitude of 10 kilometers over level ground. So let's say we've got level ground here. The plane is uh, over here, okay? It's flying 10 kilometers above level ground, and I'm just gonna write it over here for now. You'll see why in a second. So here's the ground, and, um, oops, here's the ground right here, and here's the plane. It's 10 kilometers above the ground. There is a radar station that it has passed over, and the radar station I'm gonna put right here. Now, the plane is not directly above the radar station in the question necessarily, because it's passing over. So it can be kind of anywhere right now. Uh, let D be the ground distance from the antenna to the point directly under the plane. So here is uh, D, this distance from R to this point P directly underneath the plane. Uh, let X represent the angle formed from the vertical at the radar station. So here is the vertical at the radar station and uh, the radar station to the plane. So from the vertical to the plane, okay, let X represent the angle formed from the vertical to the plane. So this is X right here. Now, what are we going to do with this D? It looks like it's outside of the triangle. Well, the same, the D is actually the same as, as being up here. So what we have here is we have a triangle that we're able to uh, create here. And I'll just redo that. So we have a triangle with angle X here. Um, this is obviously a 90 degree because this is straight vertical and uh, this is straight uh, level, horizontal, right? So we have a, a 90 degree angle, X, D, and T. So it says, write a D as a function of X and graph the function over the interval 0 to pi over 2. All right, so what we want to do is we want to have an expression for D, including X, and obviously we're given this, this 10. So what you want to maybe notice, being that this is a right triangle, there is a connection between the angle X, the opposite side, D, right, that's opposite, and the adjacent side, uh, which is 10, okay? So what's the connection between opposite and adjacent? Well, so ka toa. So I'm going to write tan of X equals opposite, that's D, over adjacent, which is 10. Now, if I multiply 10 by both sides, I get D equals 10 tan X. And there we have the function, so D as a function of X uh, through this, uh, uh, this situation, okay? Now, it also says that we need to graph it over the interval of zero to pi over two. Well, why do we have to graph it over zero to pi over two? There's a, there's a good question. And the reason is this is because x, if x was uh, zero, that means we would have really a triangle with, um, you know, this this angle right here being zero, and so really it's the two the two sides are coinciding, um, and this angle could be anything up to um, uh, pi over two, because then if it you know goes over, first of all we're going under the ground, this is ground level, right, and so we can go from zero all the way to 90 degrees here, or pi over two. So that's, that's why we're interested in just that for this question. So to graph that, let's just, uh, uh, let's go ahead and graph that. So here's my axes here. And um, here's gonna be pi over two, and here's gonna be zero. And of course we are zero at zero, when, uh, so tan of zero is, is uh, zero. And tan of pi over two is, uh, is undefined, right? So we have an asymptote over here at pi over two. So you don't have to be too exact here for this sketch. Honestly, you can just kind of draw what would be um, the uh, the half of a tan function. Okay, right? If you remember what a tan function looks like here, we've got tan like this, right? This is what it looks like with an asymptote on either side. That's one period. So I'm just gonna draw this portion right here. And uh, the, the important thing though is this, is that a quarter of the way uh, through here or halfway between 0 and pi over 2, right, this would be pi over 4, this has to be the a value here. That has to be a height of 10, okay? Has to be a height of 10. So so there you go. Here is the answer to the first part of the question, d equals 10 tan x. And, oh, got rid of a lot there. I don't know why. 10 tan x, and then, uh, okay, that's weird. Uh, and then here's your here's your graph. It's some things just disappeared on me for some reason. So pi over 2 here and uh, pi over 4 here. And this point is uh, pi over 4, 10. All right. Hope that helps.